Okay, TC, good to be back at Valley Castle. You're here helping out the foundation. Um, what's it been like today, and uh, how do you think the kids are reacting? You boys coming down? Yeah, it's been it's been awesome. Obviously, the weather's good, which is, it makes a change for it. Barney sometimes it's not the uh, nicest weather, but obviously a day like this and you know the the foundation that we've put on, it's been been outstanding. I think the kids have really enjoyed it, and you know hopefully when we've come down, it's you know not just giving them. Change of scenery, but a change of voice, you know, from the coaches that maybe have had otherwise, and hopefully we've been able to teach them a few things that we've learned uh, previously. So uh, you've done a couple of sessions with them this afternoon. Any talent out there? Have they uh, responded well to what you did with them? Yeah, there's a, there's a, f a few. We taught uh, me and Craig Willis taught some kicking and some decision making, and um, I said to the boys, I was surprised, uh, pleasantly surprised, how quickly they picked up on things. Um, some things we moved on quicker than others because you know they just picked it up straight away. So I was, I was really impressed. Good stuff. Uh, obviously, we're coming up to the start of the season. How's pre-season going with you? Yeah, it's been good. Um, it's been tough. Um, they, they sort of lured us into a false sense of security. We didn't do too much running in the first three or four weeks. And then um, after that, basically, we're just running all the time. So it's been tough, but obviously, I, obviously, I enjoy it. Um, and just trying to get as fit as possible for the season. So. Obviously, it's like a longer pre-season because of the World Cup coming up. Uh, it's literally the Web Alice Cup's come around the region. Uh, I'm not sure if you got to see it, but has there been any change or is there any uh, kind of anticipation of the World Cup coming up at the start of the season? I think so. I think going to the local rugby clubs, a lot more people are there. You know, I've been home down to my local, well, my hometown club, Darlington Mountain Park, and you know, you see a lot more people there and a lot more people maybe come up to you and speak about rugby than they usually do. And, People who've been to watch football are starting to get, you know, interested in asking questions like what's a rook and what's a mall. So I think it's definitely creating a buzz, um, and it's something that, you know, us as Falcons, you know, we want and we, you know, we love it. And as rugby as a sport, you know, it can't do any harm. Good stuff. And as a as a rugby fan, you'll be obviously watching as much as you can. You will obviously be playing at the same time. But uh, what are your thoughts for the teams? Who who, you, who would you like to win, and who do you think is probably one of the favourites? Or? Um, I reckon. I honestly think England have got a very good chance of winning it. I'm lucky enough to know a few of the boys in the squad, and, and you know, having just spoke to a couple of them, you know, people like Kieran Brooks and Jonathan Johnson, people like that. I think those boys, have by all, by all accounts, have been, you know, beasted in their fitness and, and the weights and stuff, and skills. So I honestly think they've got a good shot shot of it. I think it'll be an England New Zealand final.